Welcome back to the channel guys. I am That Beard Mechanic and today is July 1st. Happy Canada Day to my fellow Canadians out there. And you may see two CRVs here. Wondering what's going on. Some of you have only mainly seen the gold one. Unless you follow me on Instagram, uh, you would have uh, known about this one as well. So with that being said, uh, I'm going to do a very much well needed update on uh, this channel. I've been extremely busy. The whole pandemic thing was totally throwing a wrench in all the gears for everything going on. So let's get to it. So that all being said, uh, this is the 2000 that a lot of you guys have already known about. Uh, this is the one that I, I do a lot of the um, uh, how-to stuff on here that I've uh, already uploaded to the channel. And I've also installed the three inch old man emu lift kit on here, the, uh, the coils, uh, which are now in the process, as you can see, I'm working on here right now. I'm in the process of swapping that old man emu three inch lift kit onto the 2001 Honda CRV. Uh, this 2000 model that I have, she is extremely rusty in the quarters, the rockers, even into the tubs in here. I really do not have the time to work on that. And with our new safety laws here, as of uh, last year, they're extremely strict. Uh, they can fail you on the dumbest stuff now, so I'm not gonna waste my time and mess around with that stuff. Uh, myself being a mechanic and previous auto body guy as well, like I really don't have the time to start messing around with that. And I'm not gonna be uh, putting that work to a shop at $2,000 to $3,000, which I is, I'm pretty damn close with that estimate. If I was to do it in a shop, uh, that's probably what they're gonna pay. And I only paid $750 for this vehicle, so I'd rather just take what I need off of it, transfer it all over here to that one, Turn this one into like a bush buggy or some sort of uh, off-road only type toy. Reinforce all this, obviously do like an exoskeleton or something. Or I might just part it out and make sure I have a lot of spare parts. I'm not too sure yet. Uh, if I do turn it into a truck or anything like that, I will definitely uh, keep you guys updated on that process. That's for damn sure. Because I think that would look pretty, uh, pretty cool, you know. Just cut her here along the back. Get rid of all that. Do like a roll cage. I've got tubing for it. Or, you know, cut it right here. Yeah, options are there. But anyway, back to the 2001. This is the new girl here. She's in way better condition. Leather interior as well, which is what I wanted. Um, not an extensive amount of rust. Just your typical crap that's in behind these plastic trim pieces. That's nothing for me to deal with. I can get that sorted out in a weekend opposed to that, which would be pff, two, three weeks, if that, uh, of solid work. And uh, this is my current daily, and I, I only have the one vehicle that, at the moment because my Subaru, working on that, my Dodge Ram, working on that. So those are down for the count, so I gotta have a work, uh, working and running vehicle. So this one here, I only paid 450 for her. Got lower mileage on her. 347, runs like a top, excellent. Uh, so far, no complaints. I've owned her for about the last month and a half. As you can see, I've already got the wheels and tires off the gold one onto here. Got the bumper off for now. And uh, that's for the reason of this aftermarket custom bumper thing I got going on here. We've got pieces here I'm building, modifying, customizing. And they're gonna go on that uh, this weekend. And then uh, obviously the lift kit, so she should look 10 times better once I get all that done on there and then start tackling all this rust work. Also tackling a blown CV axle, hence why there's a CV axle up here. Thankfully didn't destroy the transmission as far as I know. So yeah, that's where I'm sitting at right now. So yeah, that's where I'm pretty much at right now, as of July 1st. From this day forward, I'll be doing regular updates on whatever I do with this uh, Gold 2000 model, and definitely more updates with the 2001. That one is gonna have um, the Old Man Emu lift kit, which is going in right now. And then I've got the other lift kit, which was originally for this one that I built, um, like the spacer type kit that HRG type sells. I built my own. Um, they're gonna go on that one right after I get that safely inspected and certified and all that stuff because they won't pass it without with that on there and then uh, So she'll be about six inches taller overall 
and then uh, we're gonna go with uh, you know newer roof rack on there, custom built, the custom built rear bumpers, uh, the front bumper, you know, custom uh, rock rail sliders on there as well, and a whole schlack load of other things. It's gonna be the off-road camping rig type thing when I don't want to take my uh, Dodge Ram anywhere, which is also a camping off-road rig, but you can only fit so far down certain trails and she's a pig on gas opposed to this thing. So with that being said, don't forget to check out the video here, the video up there. And if you like what you saw, like see your V's, uh, want, want to know some more uh, how-to projects and all that stuff like that, subscribe right there. Till next time. Cheers.